Silent Iron Mod. What's going on, guys? When I'm Prod here, and I would like to bring you this week's edition of A Second Look. Uh, this week we are looking about gambling and just pretty much, uh, I'd say, flower hosting and all the gambling that goes alongside all it all. And um, the first thing I would enjoy talking about is how much gambling we have going on in each and every world. It's it's pretty sad knowing it's everywhere. I mean, this this here is my home world. I've gotten to know the guy here. This is 3R. Um, I I sworn he was my buddy. I don't know. Maybe maybe he doesn't think I'm his buddy. I don't, I don't really care. Um, and this right here is Ishay's host one. This is a flower hosting bot. I don't know if there's many out there like it, but this this is astonishing to me to know to know that such a thing could even be bought. It I thought it was so strange, and um. Yeah, it just sits there and spams. You trade it. It, it tries to. Here I'll, here, I'll do it with you guys. You you were to give it uh one mil plus. This, this is like a high high stakes bot. I I don't I don't host or and I don't bet. That's stupid. It, it would it right now would be saying declined. I've done it before. I like to troll this bot. And um yeah, I'd say it's first of its kind. Maybe and I'm sure there's a ton more elsewhere. But I thought it was pretty crazy. Uh yeah, that's my home world, uh, world forty. Shout out to all these losers. Oh, well, besides this clan and that clan, I just have them at. And uh, yeah. As soon as I log in, I am met with just bombardments and bombardments of uh, uh, hosting and hot and cold and flower poker and just gambling in general. And it's crazy to know that these people have made so much money off the game. I mean, that guy, that guy looks fairly rich. I mean, I wouldn't mind having his cash pile, but taking other people's money to do it no I, I couldn't do it and this is this is just one section I think all the uh, gambling goes along over here like it, people make these little accounts right here solely just to advertise their bots like, so much of it it's it, I think it's coming it's getting out of control and someone needs to do something about it I guess I can't say it, it's a bad thing I mean people aren't forced to gamble people do it out of maybe pure addiction, or um, you know, maybe they like to make money off of it. It's not bad, but I tell you right now, for sure, it's not good. Another thing I don't like about flower hosters and pretty pretty much people in this gambling scene, you know, mainly the the host, the person who's probably making the most money, is how much this person makes. I mean, I come here and I see people, and I think World Two hosts have probably majority of all the rares in the game, and that you know, this including party hats and. Uh, third age by the looks of it. I mean, this is just one corner of people, and I'm just looking how rich these people are. And it's just crazy just knowing that they have this much money. I mean, the day I afford a blue party hat, it, <laughs> like I got banned, the day I afford a blue, a blue party hat is the day I probably stop playing or, uh, or I start giving back because there's no sense in having that much money. What, what do you do? Like, all right, I have a blue party hat. Let me go stand around and make people jealous. It's pointless and stupid, which leads me to the next thing I'd like to say is how much money is being made by these people. Um, I think at that point in time, and um, just shows proof a lot of people have been banned, is they pretty much uh, start thinking, well, I have all this money. It just sits here. Well, I can make some real life cash and sell it. And then, of course, the idiot people who go and buy money. Uh, from these websites, just so they can not have to play the game the way it was made to to make the money themselves. I mean, you get all these stats and all these skills and all that stuff up, and while doing that, you make money or you go bossing like a normal RuneScape person. You think the person who bosses every day and uh, uh, pretty much grinds hours and hours has a, like three party hat sets? No, it's the people that do hosting or use cheap ways to get their money it's it's so sad to me and I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to something being done I wish I could find the original post to this but I did find it here on another website it looks like it was just copy and pasted but this is a post from Mark Gearhard, you know the CEO of RuneScape just say, doing a little quick post about what action was taken and I'm glad to hear something did happen you know somewhere along the line someone was like ah, I gotta put my foot down and they banned a few, um, as they say, the ringleaders of um, real-world trading, which I know 
I'm sure 99% of these world war tra uh, real world traders were probably all people who hosted or did some sort of unfair way to get their money. They had this giant surplus and they sold. And I know of people that have made so, so much money off of it. Like, enough to uh, afford mansions or um, anything that they need. It's crazy. I remember when for the first sign of um, World War Trading existed. This post here is about five years ago, but I'd like you to take a little look at this paragraph here. If you want, I'll, I'll assist in reading it. Basically, is what it's saying is that this is five years ago. It's when they first noted a majority of level three characters you see playing the game repetitively and not talking to anyone are actually people from countries such as China and Korea who are trying to like collect RuneScape gold to sell for real money. Obviously against the rules. Some of them aren't even using bots. They're just playing the game very repetitively with a single-minded purpose to collect gold. That This is what I want to bring up. This is what hosts are doing. They see RuneScape as, as a job, as a place they can come to make real-life money. So, <laughs> I mean, I hear a lot of people who just funded a lot of things just using uh, RuneScape. It's, it's almost like a full-time job making more than a doctor with someone who has, you know, gone to college or had schooling to... Sh with all these high sources of money being placed in one person's hand in the game, it, it really, really starts to eat at and kind of ruin the economy of RuneScape. And right now, it's already terrible and to know that there, there's people right now just making it worse and making it harder on other RuneScape players who like to actually legitimately play the game, you know, have a purpose to play, not to log on to RuneScape and mash at H slash C times 2, you know, for the next six hours and walk away making six bill in a brand new car. One thing I am happy about though is um, J a RuneScape or Jagex, they are trying to actually get rid of them. They, they're they doing what they can do. I mean, there's only so much they can do. I, I'm, I'm sure they need a lot more proof to just ban somebody. And I, and I think the, what's something that will stop them from banning all these people is the fact that, you know, they themselves really do like money. So all these people that are members making all this money from the game, they're actually paying Jagex money to be members. So I'm sure it makes them a little bit hesitant when it comes to banning. But as we see here, they got some of the actual uh, higher profile, um, higher, higher profile real world traders, which is nice. And I'm glad they finally put their foot down and did it. This this post here is about four months ago. Um, I hope they they start thinking. You know, we we did this before, we could do it again. Or they could just take gambling out in general, just completely remove it. I'm sure, you know, they take the flower system out, maybe they just make all the flowers become one color, or you can pick the color, so it kind of just takes the, the gambling out. Or they could, uh, I, I think I saw a post or somebody talk about in a video that I watched, about them making their own gambling service within RuneScape, so there's no scambling going on, there's no middlemen, there's just you and the game itself. So for all those players who only play RuneScape just to gamble, now they have something to do. What I'd like to close with is uh, how much these, um, I guess, hosts are making, and then that the actual leader of said French chat, like, um, I think it was CLS product, he had his own. I, I, I think I, I only remember him in specific because I remember he was doing a live stream. I was interested, I watched it, I was in it. He was all 70 mil will win pumpkin hat, which pumpkin hat I think at the time was a lot more. So I pretended to put up my entire bank at the, at the time was 70 mil. So I put it all up, uh, hesitated, pressed accept, hesitated, declined. He's all, well, you're going on the ignore list. So, you know, clients like them, they, they make a ton, ton, and ton of money. And then, of course, the leader makes the most, not only because everyone's like, oh, well, he's the leader. So let's all go bet with that guy. Uh, I do believe they charge most of their. Um, I guess crewmen. I don't know the the people that they recruit. What 200 mil of rank or some French chats have these reoccurring fees. And to end this video, I'd like to give somebody this whip, just because this is my home world, world 40. You guys want to come join me? I'm always, always, always in that southwest. I'm in northwest right now, but I'm always in that southwestern part, either fletching, cooking, fire making, AF, pretty much AFK, and while playing something else or watching videos. Want to come talk to me? I always give, I always give people tons of stuff. Just because I feel like I don't need it. I have enough money. I'm happy where I'm at. So let's... Hey, <laughs> finally found somebody to take this whip. I thought I'd just show you. Yeah, always giving people stuff away. And uh, I PK'd. <laughs> Everything that I've been giving away recently has just been PK'd. I have so many sets. I mean, I don't really care. You're welcome.
Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And next week, or yeah, probably probably be next week. I'd like to talk about microtransactions. Uh, that video won't be too long compared to this one, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Drop a like, a comment if you liked it a lot. Want more? Subscribe. One item prod out.